What's going on guys? Welcome to a new video. For today's video, I have the new iPhone 13 Pro Max and the new iPhone 13 mini. There are a lot of really cool new features. Some of the features are available in both of these phones and some of them are only available in the Pro. Let's go explore, test them out and see which one might be best for you and me. I'm curious too. One of the new features across all of the iPhone 13s is that there's a cinematic mode, not just for the back-facing cameras, but also front-facing. It's really, really cool because you're able to change the depth of field as well as the aperture, and not just while you're filming, you can actually change it in post. That will also be available, I believe, in iMovie and Final Cut, but also native in the iPhone. You can edit after the fact. Let's get a little cinematic video testing out the difference between what the iPhone 13 mini and the iPhone 13 Pro Max look like. It's a little loud, but that's okay because we can then test out what the audio sounds like shooting here natively on the iPhone. We are recording in cinema mode. And as you can see behind me, it is really, really pretty. It's a little blurry right now, but I like that nice bokeh look. But if I want to show you guys what it actually looks like, I can change it right now. It's such a nice day. So this is gonna be a more practical case of the cinematic mode. I am just vlogging, 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 and my friend Jake in the background, he's on a swing, and as you can see, it has picked up your face, so then if I look away, did it focus on you? And what's cool too is if I want to adjust the focus, I can just give a little tap, and if I wanna change my mind later, I can either tap back, or I can edit this later on and change the focus. One of the differences is the 13 Pro Max has three cameras and the 13 mini has two cameras. This actually has the three times zoom, whereas this has ultra wide and wide. This has ultra wide, wide, and the telephoto. The 12 Pro Max has the 2.5 and this has the three. So maybe I will do a little comparison. I know this is a mini, but we're gonna bring out the 12 Pro Max. Now we're doing the 2.5 zoom video and comparing it to the three times zoom. That is the sheriff. If the three times zoom isn't that exciting to you or might not be a reason to upgrade, wait until you see these next two features because they might just lure you in. Let's go see. One thing to note, if you are in between getting the mini or the regular 13 versus the Pro or the Pro Max, the macro feature is only available in the Pro version. Also, with portrait, you are able to get a little bit closer, not as close as the Pro Max with macro, but let's just see. I have found this lovely flower. We are just gonna take a regular photo, get as close as possible. As you can see, I am really in there, and that is just blurry. Let's try portrait, let's get in there with portrait. It is a little bit better. Macro time. That is cool. I am so close. I am inside this flower. It's invasive. I don't even know what that is. They didn't teach me this in science class. It's really cool because you could basically get up to two centimeters away. That's close. Let's see some more examples of macro shots. For example, this crab. What is happening in its mouth? Do you see that? Okay, this is very cool. Like, look how tiny you are. Oh. Thank you for your participation. Just one more shot. There's a feather. Okay, the details on this feather is actually pretty impressive. I'm so close to this. I need to like retrain my brain to be like, it's okay to get close because this phone can handle it. The detail's pretty impressive too. So cool. Great. Oh yeah, I'm in there. I have a slight fear of birds. <laughs> We're gonna get the birds. Or they're gonna get me, it's, it's hard to say. Will I get pooped on today? Only time will tell. We're just gonna try regular video mode. So we have tested out the 13 Pro Max cameras and they are very impressive. As people are gonna be using these more to make movies or make vlogs, that's great. But what does the audio sound like? I have the last generation, the 12 Pro Max, but we're gonna be making a little movie to see if we can hear any difference. Is there an upgrade in audio? Let's find out. I'm also gonna be recording in cinematic mode, regular video on the 12 Pro Max. Also, there is a street directly behind Jake, so we've got all types of noises. This is gonna be a fun experience. Oh, you can't borrow no money. I 
heavy hurt from your ass into here. Suddenly want something from me. Now that I'm snapping from Beverly Hills. I filmed with a new phone on cinematic and the other one in the regular video mode and I was noticing a few differences. So I'm actually gonna switch back over and film both in video mode. The previous generation has like a washed out cooler temperature to it. So I'm not sure if it's because the new phone has this new display technology and is brighter. We will see in post, but now let's put this in a regular video mode and have a more fair comparison. I know one day there would be no suffering Cause right now I can't sleep because I'm wondering if you're real You still have control over my life way to test if the camera stabilization is any better and that's to dance maybe a little jog little jog little jog little jog back we're exercising and working that got heavy Guys, thank you so much for watching. This was still just a first impressions video. So if you have anything you want to see in the future for the more in-depth review, leave it in the comments. Overall, I am very impressed with the camera. The macro feature is pretty remarkable. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you next time. Cops are coming, put the camera down. One more thing, I am in my jammies because it is nighttime, but the iPhone 13 Pro Max has a bigger camera sensor as well as a faster aperture, which means it is gonna be better in low light. So Armando is actually filming on the FX3 at 12,800 ISO, just to give you a heads up. It's very dark. I'm gonna take some night shot comparisons with the 12 Pro Max and compare it to the new 13 Pro Max. That's a lot of ants, like a lot of them, like a lot of ants. We got, let's just click it and see what happens. Overall, there wasn't too much of a change. You can definitely tell when you zoom in on the picture, it is crispier, but I'm still actually pretty impressed with the 12 Pro Max. Yeah, I mean, you can definitely tell like this is brighter, a little bit crispier. They both look pretty good though. Well, there it was, the really official test. iPhone 13 Pro Max, nighttime, a little bit better. I'm going to bed. Bye, 8.30 bedtime.